Hi there, welcome back. So I just wanted to share a few things with you with all the emergencies throughout the US. Right now I thought I would just share a few emergency tips just to help you be prepared because you never know when something could happen. So the first thing is you want to make a checklist. So with that checklist, it's like things that you would want to to have. So what medical supplies do you use? What do you use like electricity or do you have a generator? Do you have flashlights? Do you need chargers or like what would you pack? Are you prepared for an emergency? Think of things like that. Do you have a dog or a cat? What things would you need for them in case you have to evacuate somewhere else? What would you need to take with you? You want to make a checklist of that and then also have like just a spare bag and pack the essential things in it. So like what kind of metal, medical equipment would be probably the first thing that you'd want to do and then also your medications do you have extra medications and everything you want to know where they are and just um, have them so you can grab them at a moment's notice if you need to all right for the second thing if you are someone that is like medically fragile and would need help during an emergency then go go introduce yourself to the fire department go bake them cookies or something and say hello. A lot of fire departments are open and like are happy to show kids around and do tours as long as you just come by. But yeah, introduce yourself to them and make sure they know you and you get to know them and kind of like become comfortable and explain, explain what kind of extra assistance you might need during an emergency. Tip number three, is you want to have like a folder or something with all of your medical documents in case you are stuck in an emergency. A lot of people have an emergency bracelet. I, this is my watch, but you know what I mean? A bracelet and that'll like identify what you have. Um, I believe they do make electronic ones now where you can like have all your info scanned into that where EMTs can just scan it and get your info, I believe. I'm not too caught up with that. But then like all your documents, you want hard copies too. And if even if you don't have a bracelet or anything like that, just having them like scan into the computer and back them up because you never know if something could happen to your computer. But if you have access to them through a storage cloud or Google Drive or something, you'll be good. So final tip. Sorry, I guess this is tip number four. I know I said three, but so four tips. Final tip is you want to take pictures of everything that you own that's valuable. So like your TV, your house, your probably your cell phone too. You know, things like that that are covered in your insurance plan in case of an emergency and back those pictures up too so that you have proof of them in case in case anything goes wrong so that your insurance can cover them for you because you have proof that you did have those things. Anyway, I hope you find these tips helpful and I do want to share with you too, this is my new, um, my new exercise room. I'm still getting it kind of set up, but it's a lot, it's a lot more set up than the last time I recorded a video in here. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you want more tips, and exercise videos, especially if you're someone with a muscle disease like I am, then click subscribe and get those more videos.